Yeah, the, the audio setup? Uh, I'm trying. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. Look, this is the light that they use for, for all that. You know, when they do the theme song. This is all that. This is all that. Amber, are you ready to get started? Yeah, we good? Yeah. All right. Record. Press, press, record. We're gonna press. Record. Press, press, record. We're gonna, okay. My name is Charlie. Yeah. And I'm so cute. Yeah. I wear glasses. Yeah. Do what I do. Yeah, my name is Amber. Yeah. I'm a teacher. Yeah. I'm a teacher of kids. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really not, I'm not good at this at all. What, are you, what were you gonna, like, what? What about it? I don't know. <laughs> I was just trying to test out. You know, it was really hard to find something that rhymed with cute. Just throwing that into the universe. It was it was very difficult. I for think me. do what it do is a very good way to cute. rhyme cute. Do what it do. Good thing I'm not teaching your kids how to rhyme. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay, back to this podcast situation. Podcasting. All right. So today, you guys, we were talking about something very close to us. Um, actually, or not close to us. Yeah, not so close because we don't know what emotions are. We brought this up too. We you guys already say, know this about us. Yeah, we're not so good with emotions or how to process it or... Yeah. It's a little sad, um, but it's also very happy because <laughs> we refuse to acknowledge what's going on exactly. with us. Exactly. <laughs> also insightful. And I know that we're not the only ones, so that's why we're sharing it. Yes, exactly. So, especially as black women, how we handle our emotions is not always understood by the outside world no so not healthy either yeah it's traditionally unhealthy yes it's very true important to know thank you thank you you're you're welcome yes we're not okay (laughs) um we're not okay but we're okay with talking about how we're not Not okay okay. yeah yeah that's what we're going with right so today we're dealing with uh ladies not being able to have any more room for other people besides ourselves ladies can't feel a thing I like that. Are we keeping it? I, I can feel it. I like the way you think on top of the... I think you have to. Yeah. Because you're a teacher. Off the top. Off the top of the dome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's still me. Can't feel a thing. Like, do we have feelings? Can we have feelings for other people? Do we have room to even let other people in? Yeah. And to some people that might sound like a silly thing, like, duh, of course you do. Like, yes and no. Yes and no. No, no, no. I think with us, we can will something to be untrue so strongly that it actually becomes our reality, at least for a while. Right. Like if I say I'm done with you in a relationship or if I say like, you know what, I won't accept this treatment from this person, like whether it be a coworker or whoever, Mm -hmm. we can literally make that the case. Make it done and one and done, that's all. And people think that, oh, like no, it's complicated. It's more complex than that. No, No. it's not. No. Not for us, at least. Mm-mm. And that's what we're here to talk about. Yeah. You think this is a game? <laughs> you think this is a game? Try me. Try <laughs> me. No, they, they really they really shouldn't try us. Don't. They shouldn't. Because we don't feel a thing. Can't feel it. <laughs> Can't feel a thing. Feel it. Feel it. No, I'm not going to sing. We're not doing that. Nova Kane, oh. Nova Kane, Nova Kane. Oh, my Can God. Can't feel it. Yes. Another pain. Frank another pain. Ocean. Okay, no, we're done. We're done. Yeah, but it's I, true. I need to hear it now. Come on, <laughs> get me started. Started, because I forgot. <laughs> I think it started something. Something, something, something. Superhuman. Na, 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 na. Viagra popping. Was it Viagra? Yes, Viagra popping. Okay, in. I'm just like, is this embarrassing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Frank. <laughs> Usually, I mean, once it starts playing, I know the words. Don't. Yeah, don't. that's what happens. It's only natural. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, it's funny, we can't feel a thing, but let our song come on. Like, People like, yeah, oh, she speaks man. to my heart, <laughs> my soul, oh, everything. And that's why I think that I had brought this topic up because it's like dealing with other people's emotions. I mm. think um, I can handle my emotions well sometimes, mm-hmm. sometimes. But when it comes to other people, if they're sad or depressed or if they have issues and they're kind of like venting to me, mm-hmm. I'm just like, okay. All right. Yeah. What do you yeah. want? Me, like, do you want answers? Do you want, what do you want for me? Well, I, for one, when I'm venting to somebody, I will actually, if you ask me, I will tell you exactly what I want from you. 
Like Yes, I think you require people to give you advice, right? Yeah, that's usually my prereq. Like if I open up the drawers, the, the top drawer, you know some weird stuff is in your top drawer. So if I open up the top drawer of my life, and I tell you to go ahead and take a look inside. Go ahead and rummage through and tell me what you find. Yeah, I'm gonna need some feedback though. <laughs> like, you're not just gonna rummage through my drawers and like not just tell me. internalize it. Yeah, like, so what, what'd you think? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the complete opposite. I'm just like, let me tell you what I'm going through, what my thought process is, but I do not need your opinion. I oh, don't shoot. need your advice. I'm sure I've failed at that multiple times. I like can't help myself. I'm like, oh, have you tried this? Have you tried this? And I go through a list of like solutions. And yeah. I have to remember people don't always want those. Right. Yeah. I'll listen to them. It's not like I'm gonna be like, oh my God, shut up. Like, yeah, I know. I know notoriously Charlie does not take my advice. So I also, <laughs> I also factor that in when I give it. <laughs> you're like, I know you're not going to listen. Yeah. So I'm like, I know you're going to do something totally different than what I'm saying, but I'm just throwing this out there. And I use the word universe too. So that way she actually resonate with it. I'm like, yeah, I'm throwing this into the universe that my intentions are for you to take this advice, positive vibes. And then at the end, I just say crystal, 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 crystal. (laughs) You start like waving sage in my face. I'm like, oh my God, I think that really resonates with me. Yeah. She's like, "Ah." and it it didn't come from Amber. It came from the the universe. universe. (laughs) Coffee break. (laughs) <laughs> no, oh, I'm so. gonna I'm gonna be like Amber and sip coffee during our during our podcast. Well, good then. Fine, get like me. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Mm-hmm. We're twins today, by the way. Oh wait, oh. where's your glasses? I took them off because look, I don't know if yours have a huge glare or not, but I'm like seeing mine. I can't see a thing, y'all. I'm so blind. I don't know what's happening over there. I don't see a glare. Well, I did. I just saw every time I turn my head. You I saw a glare. On I don't yours? see one on you though. Because these are these are Prada glasses, baby. Oh, okay. Okay. Are, are they prescription now? They are. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. I, I got them. I have respect for you now. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, trying to use up my insurance uh, when I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, yes, give me those. <laughs> Been there, done that. Um, I got my teeth cleaned. I got, <laughs> I got these glasses. I was like, what else do I need? <laughs> Let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> Because when you know those like shady email chains are going around, there's mm-hmm. there's positions shifting. Uh-huh. This person decided to relocate, and you never thought they would leave. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, you're some like, stuff you know is what? about to go down. Let me set a doctor's appointment. Yep. I do, All of a sudden, I, I am not thing. feeling well. I think yeah. I need a checkup. <laughs> I need to set a doctor's appointment. And by the way, did I use my insurance for my glasses? VSP, are you there? Because I need, I need to make sure I get my prescription. Yes. How much does this cover? Okay, I'll have that for you next week. Yep, I got it. Yeah. And I had like a flexible spending account. I was like, yeah, I'll just do the thing. Insurance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take care of it. You just start cashing out all the options. Yeah. In fashion, it was just like, all right, stuff is looking weird here. I'm about to order a lot of free samples for myself. Because <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen <laughs> from one day to the next. So you know what? I think I, I'm going to try this from this season, that one, that one. And I had thought about this one, but now we need it. Your last day, you came home with like a... A huge bag, and you're like, here's like, for you, and for you. I was yeah. like, yes, thank you. It was Christmas when I quit my fashion job. It really I was, was like, you get, you get a t-shirt, you get a t-shirt. You're like, yeah, yeah. Now I have 150 dollars leggings for free. So. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Getting back on the outline. That's, that's why we have one. <laughs> yes, outlines, but it's good to vent. Yeah, every now and then. So talking about being sensitive, uh, not having emotions, or Having too many emotions. Have Mm -hmm. you ever been called heartless or insensitive? Heartless or insensitive. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, yeah. And then I've also been called my first name, too, because they kind of go interchangeably. Yeah, I think in the dictionary it literally says... Amber with two A's, heartless, cannot feel, computerized, Mm -hmm. robotic. Yeah, I've totally been called that in past relationships. Um, Mm. I mean, not so much in current one, in in my current relationship, but, like, in the past, people have said, like... Do you feel anything? Like, how do you even, how are you not even reacting to this? Mm. But to me, I'm kind of like, I am reacting. Don't you see? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I already feel, because I feel things so intensely and don't show it on the outside, it just, it just doesn't mean that I'm not feeling anything. Yeah. You just don't want to overreact. Well, that's my fear, at least. If I react in that moment during mm-hmm. that situation it'll be an overreaction mm. does that make sense yeah yeah that's actually true too it's a protective measure because mm-hmm. i'm like if i tell you what i really really think or what i really really feel then i mean we're we just have to replace all of our glass products yeah exactly which 
it's been a road that I've crossed and huh. it's not worth it. I yeah. mean, although the new dishes do look great. <laughs> So maybe our lack of emotion is just a way to hide our anger issues. Anger, I wouldn't even limit it to just that. <laughs> like, I think we feel so intensely yeah. and we're required to keep so much in already. So if you're mm. asking for an outward reaction, you don't get to choose yeah. how it comes out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. we're speaking generally here on purpose because I think you can insert your own situation right, right, here. Right. Like it's, Black women stand up. Just stand up. <laughs> Hello. You're stand driving. Up one time. You're driving. Just stand up. Stand up anyway. Right now. Just don't. don't I want your up. head to come out like the Flintstones. Don't do it. It's not safe. <laughs> don't do it. Well, you have brought up somebody um, like in past relationships asked you like, are you? Do you even feel anything? Yeah. And that reminded like, I was like, oh, that actually happened to me too. Um, in so many words, um, he was just like, oh, you think everything's funny? Like you don't take anything seriously. And then he kept like putting LOL at the end of stuff, like kind of mocking me. And I'm just Ew. like, I'm like, wow, I don't. <laughs> and like, I, not that I don't take everything seriously, but I do use humor as a way to kind of just kind of brush it under the rug. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And oh, kind of yeah. like not deal with the situation. So I'll turn something into a joke. And that's something that I have to work on um, because just I know that if it, is the way that it's in my head, it's not gonna turn out pretty. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're gonna get ugly Charlie. She she will yell at the top of her lungs. She will scream. She will, I, I will physically, I will try to hurt you. Yeah. And that's what I don't want, so. Yeah, it's in a way we, we protect ourselves and the people around yeah. us by keeping a lid on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, but where is the healthy balance? Right, What is what are some healthy healthy outlets. Um, I started exercising. Exercising helps. That helps me so much because I feel it. And if I'm that built up with emotion, mm -hmm. um, I start pacing. So then I'm like, you know what, let me just put on some shoes and I'll, I'll just run. Sometimes I feel like when I'm like really feeling it, I channel all of my energy and I've done this since college days into work. Mm. Like if it was in it was in my past career, I'd be like, you know, I'm gonna get these samples today. <laughs> China, what up? <laughs> like, now all of a sudden the work is a competition. Yeah. Or like, you know, even right now, I'll put all my energy into doing this large to-do list for the show. You know what? While I'm here, I'm just gonna- Knock these out real quick. Knock it all out, Yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like, like channeling is good, but sometimes you don't always have that, that outlet. That's true. But no, I can't, I can't sit in one place. And I, I speak of anger, but we can talk about um, great emotions too, like being overly excited. Because mm -hmm. there are some times where I feel so much joy and compassion and I want to express that outwardly, which I don't do all the time. Mm -hmm. And I have to reel it back like, oh, does this person want to feel that from me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's challenging. Challenging yep. for me trying to find that balance of... <laughs> expressing and holding it in yes oh my gosh I, I can't tell you like for instance my husband and i so i'll tell him you know what that's awesome that you took the initiative to do that and you know you got this raise or something like that and he'll be like are you serious or uh, and i'm like oh shit you know that shows that there's something wrong often. with me yeah. because you know, he can't take it in when I'm authentically giving it to him. Right. And I'm like, oh, shoot, I need to take my own teacher advice because they teach you this in teacher school. <laughs> like you teacher have to school. give positive feedback. There's like a three to one ratio. Pray sandwiches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you can't just be like given critique. Or, on people. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, OK, I don't want to do that. But then also, do you keep the problems that you have or the feedback that you have that's intended has good intentions mm -hmm. do you just hold on to that keep it to yourself wait for a different time what do you do uh yeah it's tough i mean communicating with a whole other human being and i think that's our issue too oh uh, yeah and i i think of the way i communicate when i'm feeling like love and joy um, I'm very affectionate, especially mm -hmm. like with my partner. So I want to like jump on you or hug you or kiss you or is it, like mm -hmm. show that. And um, if I'm rejected any type of way, like, oh, okay, babe, come on. Or like, oh, stop. I get really offended. I take really? that personally. Yeah. Yeesh. So then I don't show it. There'll be um, a while for where I don't touch you. Like I don't show that physical affection. Okay. So it's just, okay, do I 
how to dial it back because I don't want to dial it back. I love you. You know yeah. what I mean? Come here. Let me kiss your face. <laughs> let me kiss your face. Yeah. Aw. Because <laughs> not everybody gets that. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're right. I just was just reminded of how far I am from like, that's a whole nother thing. Physical what? affection. Mm. Not my thing. No. That's why I'm very surprised when you want to hug me goodbye. Yeah. I have to yeah. look at you for a second. We do like this little dance. Yeah. For like. No, no. Oh. I mean, I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind hugs goodbye. I hug strangers now. You know what? Oh. I hug strangers now. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Throw them, throwing that out there. But um, it's just one of those things. I, I guess I was never taught that. And I think you mm. do have to be taught that. I mean, I was never like, okay, get off me, get off me all the time. But mm. as I got older, it just got worse. Hmm. It's interesting. Like, please stop touching me. Yeah, I think I'm just not used to being touched, literally. Yeah. And when it does happen, I'm like, ah, oh. like I jump sometimes mm. and I'm not ready. Like when the guy at the store, at the creepy store next oh, door, he's like, he'll touch your shoulder. Ooh. <laughs> Did I do it just like him? <laughs> he's like, here's a piece of candy. Want some candy? Oh, there's a mat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, no, Memories. seriously. No, I got like, ugh. Ew, the creepy. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I had to channel my inner creepy person. Yes, because he will go. Like we've talked about this in the past, but he'll go past you in the aisle and then be like, like go behind you. Me. Yeah, she's and like, like grabbing my your waist. waist. Yeah, like you use your words, sir. I mean, but I'm like, how oh. come we don't stand? How come we don't say anything? That is a whole other episode. That is going to be a different episode. Surviving the market store. Shoot. <laughs> um. Yeah, but. I, I'm not used to it. So when that does happen, mm -hmm. I'm taking it back and I actually have to tell myself like, okay, this is normal. We're doing this. It's fine, it's fine. Breathe, yes. breathe, breathe. Yeah, and yeah. it's always been like that. I mean, even as a child, my, my parents told me as a baby, I didn't want to be picked up. <laughs> I was the only baby that they met that, that would they cry. Met. <laughs> that they met. They, they met, met a lot of they babies. They met all the babies. All the babies And then the there world. was me. So. <laughs> Alien baby. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but I would cry if you picked me up. And yeah. that's still the, the case. I think I was the same, but, or I kind of, I wanted what I wanted when I wanted it. Like, you can touch me. That's accurate. But now, the, okay, I'm, I'm over it. Please We're done stop. with this. Please stop. Yep. And I think now in my adult life, I'm not used to prolonged affection. Mm. So if someone like is hanging on, <laughs> look at you bracing. <laughs> <laughs> you see the look on my yeah, face. you're like, like <laughs> kind of like hugs goodbye like for too long or just like to, I'm just like okay what what else do you want like <laughs> can yes. I help you with anything else yes and that's where I have to be like okay people people do this humans yeah. do this mm -hmm. okay this is normal yeah I have to study other people mm -hmm. because I have to see like when I'm driving in LA and then I look on the sidewalk and I see somebody like Oh, lean over and kiss their boyfriend as they're walking, as they're holding hands, and then continue about their business. Ooh. And I'm just like, wow, there's a lot That's of things happening me right now. You're holding hands, you're walking on a crowded street, and you're finding the time to find each other's faces. Faces and match with yeah, with you, lips. you didn't miss. I'm yeah, just like, <laughs> y'all must have practiced. Yeah, they do that. And at the house, they're like, okay, babe, come on. Mm. It's sunset. We gotta hold hands, and there's a crowd walking towards us. And go. Yeah. Wow. I just, it just, <laughs> only when I see other people am I reminded of how different I am. Mm. Which... And again, with with that, I like it for a little bit. Yeah, you can, I like holding hands. Mm -hmm. um, but if there's a crowd coming towards me, please let me go. Or if it's, like, stop. Yeah. <laughs> and I hate this, like, people, stop. Get, get comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Affection. Yeah. We want it when we want it. Yes. So with this, I've kind of gone through phases of um, dealing with my emotions or how I used to anyway. In relationships, I'll do it this way. I've gone for like, okay, I'm going to talk to this person because they make me feel this way. Mm -hmm. And I've gone to people for that thing. And hey, I mean, I always kind of kept the lid on it. I knew that it wasn't always genuine, but I'm just like, it's good to hear. Keep it around. Mm -hmm. Phase two, I was kind of like, this is all BS. Like I was super guarded and I didn't want anything to do with anyone. And if I did, it was just kind of playing with you a little bit. Sorry. Uh oh. Sorry. Sorry. She's a man eater. There was, yes, but you know, without all the fun stuff like sex, oh, unfortunately. Yeah. 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 That's uh, fine. Uh, uh. 
Yeah. So these phases happen in different periods times of, of your life. My life. Okay. Yes. All right. Gotcha. Yeah. No, this was all last week. <laughs> and I'm like, is this a, a step by step process that you do? <laughs> like, wow, you just switch from one to the other. Okay. Yeah. Because when we came up with came up with this topic, I was thinking of like, okay, how far have I come with this? And now it's. I feel like I'm in a lot better of a place because mm. yeah, I still have all of the same core issues, but um, yeah, when I feel myself putting feelings on mute, I kind of intentionally turn up the volume and I have that self-talk like, mm. okay, you're feeling this way right now. You're going to sit with this for a minute. Mm. You're going to sit with this feeling for one minute. You're just going to let everything you feel just happen right now because I feel like Subconsciously, we spend so much time protecting ourselves. Mm -hmm. So in that minute, are you outwardly expressing or writing or anything like, okay, I'm angry, I'm frustrated because of this, this is why it's doing it, or do you just like kind of soak in whatever you're feeling? Like, yes, I'm just going to feel this. Um, my, yeah, kind of far, like when you turn. It's a, well, what do you want me to do, friend? Talk on the mic. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I mean, I actually just sit there literally sit there it, whether it be me driving or whatever i sit there and i say to myself amber you're upset you're hurt you're numb you're this like hmm. i literally say to myself what it is that i'm feeling because how often do we really do that right and that's half enough the time, that's enough for me yeah and half the, t half the time we can't really put it into words what we're mm -hmm. feeling we're just like oh i'm just feeling something, I don't know. So that's good, taking it step by step. Okay, yeah, I'm hurt, I'm frustrated, I'm numb, I'm angry. Mm -hmm. All of the above. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and I really feel like it helps me get through my day, whatever day it might be, mm -hmm. because I sat with that feeling. It doesn't nag me on, tap me on the back of the shoulder. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it is for you guys that you do or don't do, mm -hmm. find a process. Some people it's writing, it used to be me, but keep in mind the process changes too yeah that's true doesn't really do it for me anymore writing like my lifestyle is not set up for me to sit there and journal just like pull out a notebook yeah. and I'm like okay this is yeah. what i feel no yeah like for me you know you drive and you say or just sit there with your feelings mm -hmm. um i talked about exercising there something had happened um but i had gotten to a little spat with my boyfriend and i was like you know what i gotta go release this so i started So mm -hmm. I had gotten to something, like a little spat with my boyfriend, and I had to step outside, and I was like, you know what, I gotta release this, and I started jump roping. Mm -hmm. And while I was jump, or, jump roping, I was like, okay, I'm upset because of this. He said this, and it made me feel this way. Why did it make me feel this way? Mm. Oh, because it triggered this. Yep. And that I had to like go back and back and back, and I was like, okay, I'm not really upset at him, I'm upset because of how he said it yeah or what it what it triggered yeah and it took a while I and I, I saw <laughs> you know the steps I had to break it down okay and then all of a sudden I just stopped jump roping went back in the house I'm like you know what I'm not mad at you but this is what it made me feel and that's why I reacted the way I did mm. wow and then I was like be right back and I had to like <laughs> you know finish finish my set or whatever but that really really helped just to kind of break it down and kind of dissect it no, that's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, just that self-talk. It's yeah. really, really important. Mm -hmm. Guys, have a talk. With yourself. With yourself. Yes. It's important. It's scary. Yeah. There was, for a long time, I did not even want to acknowledge anything. And like the whole, you know, oh, do you take anything serious? And I was like, ha ha ha, no. Yeah. That's because I was afraid. Yeah. But now I think something with age, I don't know, just makes you not give any craps. Yeah. <laughs> We're giving less craps as we speak right now. Yeah. Less and less. Less. <laughs> They're flying. You see that right there? Crap. What's that? Is that a crap? Oh my god. I'm, I'm throwing it. <laughs> I gave them all away. There, I don't know what to There's tell less you. and less. I don't <laughs> even have anymore. Corny. Corny Charlie and Amber. Yeah, pretty corny. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I've been working on being present. That's kind of how I'm handling uh, my emotions these days. Just mm -hmm. kind of doing what you said, acknowledging mm -hmm. what's going on, and realizing that I'm hardly present. It's half of the battle when it comes to being present. I guess realizing that there's more work to be done and that oh. you recognize, I recognize how often I'm multitasking or how often I'm finishing a post when someone's talking to me and I, there's a delay in the way I talk to them. Like, oh, they, they're like that full two seconds before I respond. Yeah. And then they're like, you sound distracted. And like I'm like, I am. 
you know what? You're right. I am distracted. You know what? Can you actually give me one minute? <laughs> I'm still working on the putting the other person first, you know? Like, hey, hey priorities. <laughs> maybe next. Let me just finish what I'm doing. You know what? That <laughs> happens to me all the time. But usually I'm doing what I need to do first. And then they start talking. I'm like, do you not see me doing something right now? Yeah. So I'm like, huh? Huh? Uh -huh. oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think for me, it comes out of an effort of trying to do it all. Mm. So I'm trying to handle business. I got to do this post real quick. It's, mm -hmm. not, it's not for me. It's for us. You know, we got to business. We got business. business, man. I'm a business man. <laughs> okay. So then there's a person that calls and I'm like, I, you're important to me. Like I want to get to you. So I'm going to press decline. incorporate you into my process, even though I shouldn't, I should press decline, mm. but, I, but I don't. Mm. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to fit everybody in, but I don't know what the right thing to do is. You tell me. Oh, I pressed decline. Really? I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, I'll call them back. Or Dedicated. To, I mean, not all the time. I'm sorry. Um, like you said, you know what? It brought you brought realization to me because you said my job was physically and mentally demanding, and I. It's like I knew, but I really didn't take it into consideration. I yeah. was like, wow, no, it really is, and that's why I I am exhausted more often and. I, I'm like, yeah, no, I really need time for myself and mm -hmm. to sleep mostly. <laughs> yeah, sleeping is important. Yeah. So uh, earlier in the earlier this year, we talked about how Charlie has been stepping it up, taking care of stuff for the show yeah. left and right, and I've been concerned. Like I've been like, okay, this is great. I'm she's doing a lot, and she really is a lady doing doing stuff. stuff okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm like mm -hmm. impressed and I'm happy, but I'm just like, there needs to when it comes to doing too much. Let, let me break it down. Uh, <laughs> ladies doing too much. When it comes to doing too much, there's you got to you got to take it slow, man, cuz otherwise it'll burn you out. Like oh, you got to start putting a little bit here, a little bit more, a little bit more. Your plate's already full, but you're just going to it's like Jenga. You just got to find that spot. Yeah, the right spot you know? to put it in. And that's the thing, you're not the first person to tell me that, but it's like I am taking it slow. I don't or I have taken it slow and now is the time to do it. So mm. You know, I hear both sides of the story like, oh, you know, you're doing too much. Take it easy. And then when I'm taking it easy, like, oh, are you going to do anything or can you do Ooh. this? And I'm like, well, yeah, what do yeah. you want from me? Like, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. And yeah. I don't feel bad about taking on too much because I know it's going to get done. Mm -hmm. um, but I told you the other day, I was like, wow, I'm actually mentally exhausted. It was to the point where. Um, I couldn't understand people like I couldn't understand what they were saying. Mm -hmm. um, I had to read things a few times because I literally could not comprehend what was In given to me. Wow. Yeah. And it was tough. Yeah. And I was like, I thought I was going crazy. I thought I had like some You're sort tired. Of, yeah. And I was just like, whoa. And so it was to the point where I was like, hey, I, I really think I need a month off of work. Yeah. Asking yourself, what is the problem? Mm -hmm. Where is the disconnect? What is too much? Right. Because all of those things bring up what we're talking about, these emotions, these, yeah. how we deal with it and the pressure that we put on ourselves and the expectations mm -hmm. we have for our futures. Mm -hmm. And how you deal with that. That's that's the most important one, because I actually had to verbally communicate, whereas before I wouldn't. I would just go for it and do it but mm -hmm. i had to communicate to my partner hey i'm getting burnt out yeah and i think it's messing with my mental health mm -hmm. I, I really need a break don't you think it's interesting that only millennials can say and actually mean i need a month off of work <laughs> yeah we're not kidding <laughs> our parents Hello, are boss. listening like the hell so ladies what what's the topic don't feel a thing ladies i can't feel my face I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Or anything else for that matter. I don't feel it. She don't feel I it. I don't feel nothing. <laughs> um, I'm trying to feel something and I have brought this topic up because whenever I'm in relationships and my partner is kind of going through something, mm -hmm. I'm kind of just like, oh, <laughs> well, I gotta go. <laughs> you, you can't do that. You can't, you can't do that. I know I can't. And so I try to do things that are in my control or be the best that I can without being someone's therapist. Oh yeah. Like protecting myself and my energy and my feelings and making sure I don't take on your problems because mm -hmm. exactly what they are, there are your problems to deal with. And not saying that I'm not there for my partners, mm -hmm. but I really don't know the balance. And that's what I'm trying to figure out because there's 
there's been a few times where my partners are going through like some serious stuff and I'm just like, I don't know how to help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to work on ladies doing stuff or I'm going to go for a run or I'm going here. Like I'm always be gone for five hours. Yeah, I'm Bye. literally gone for all day. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, whoops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, I don't know the balance. I don't know how to deal with other people's emotions. That makes sense, and it's dicey because I've tried it both ways, mm -hmm. and I failed both ways. Oh, yeah, well, then yeah. nothing's gonna work. No, <laughs> that's not doesn't have to be your story. <laughs> your story could be better than mine. Both ways of what, like overly helping and yes. stepping outside of the picture. Absolutely. Wow. So earlier in my relationships, I've had I have had relationships where people literally needed help, and I've helped them like financially. I've helped them even spiritually mm. and um, just being that companion and maybe a little bit of a therapist too. And I've heard in the past, oh, you're the type of person that needs a project. And I'm oh. like, I would rather not have a project, but the projects tend to come, come to, to you. me. Mm -hmm. And they don't reveal themselves as projects, ladies. They, they never they do. They look shiny. They look great. Shiny and new. And your project. Yes. Yeah. Anyways. Um, but you know, since you, you bought the item at the store and you kind of want to be like, you know what? I don't want to send it to the manufacturer to fix it. Let me just, there's still a warranty. Let me try to see <laughs> what I can to do fix this. to fix it. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's kind of how I, I treated things. And mm. I went over and beyond what I was supposed to too do. Too much. Yeah. Kind of inserting yourself too much yes. into the situation. Yes. And that's like when you're not married sort of thing. Like mm. why, why are you doing that? Giving all that effort. But when you love someone. And by the way, yes. I feel things. There are not out sometimes. there. Sometimes. You know, when you love Most someone, times. sometimes <laughs> you don't you don't have the clear sight of that boundary that what this is what I won't do, this is what I will do. I mean, especially if you're living with that person, your finances are intertwined, like there's not a line that you won't cross. Right. Somebody else has to usually tell you, like, hey, like you, you don't want to do out. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think maybe when you're dealing with someone else's problems, it might be a good idea to consult with other people to see hmm. how is this going to impact you? Because if you love them, you're not going to see straight. This is, this is true. <laughs> Just be celibate. <laughs> or, yeah. Or keep your legs closed with whatever yeah. you want to do. But some people don't even need to have sex to feel that attachment. Mm. I know that I was one of those people that I didn't need to have sex in order to be like very hurt by someone or, you know, I was never like, you know, over the moon like oh my god i need you You're right that wasn't my style mm -hmm. but you know i realized without that connection i still felt things very mm -hmm. deeply mm -hmm. yeah i don't know if that's helpful for anybody i don't think so no oh, i'm just kidding. You. i'm kidding i'm totally I'm, kidding i'm feeling hurt <laughs> by your reaction are you hurt not are really. you sad oh i thought we we're gonna verbalize how we're feeling nope we're not doing this for you guys you do it <laughs> yourself <laughs> yeah i think that's it I, I I love us. We're just so wise. Okay. You're so welcome, We're guys. So welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this has been a really insightful ep episode. Yeah, I feel ready to face my issues. Let's go face some issues and sing about it later on. I'm gonna sing about it. Gonna make an R&B song. Yeah. If that helps you, do that too. Oh yeah, just make up some. I do that songs. all the time. Yeah, she does. My everyday life. No, just for fun, really. For no reason. It doesn't help. <laughs> it doesn't have to help. <laughs> all right. Well, you guys can find us, um, if you're listening to podcasts, find us on iTunes, SoundCloud, Spotify, Stitcher, mm -hmm. Google Play, everything. Please find us. Ladies yes. doing stuff podcasts. We're going to pop up. Yep. Don't you worry. Yeah. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. For those watching video, all the links are going to be down below. Mm -hmm. You're going to click every one of them and you're going to subscribe and you're going to share and you're going to rate and like and give us money. That's also what you're going to do. That would be great. Also, follow us on Instagram at yeah. ladies doing stuff. Apparently, we have really good posts. That's what people say. We're like, oh. Yeah, then why aren't you liking them more? Freaking like it, man. <laughs> Dang. That's we got we all get... these followers and you're like, oh, I'm just going to scroll. Like, yeah. no. I think they get tired of seeing our faces, so we got to shock them, Charlie. Why don't you show them one of them dress pics? I'm going to just show you my butt. That'll do it. I, I promise. That's all we need. You know what? My next post is going to be my, a butt post. Okay, wonderful. I'm just looking forward to this. This yep. growth and opportunity in, in 2019 is amazing. <laughs> butt posts. <laughs> and also on Twitter at ladies do stuff. Yes, yeah, so we be tweeting. Yeah, we do. I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say.
going to say we be twatting, but we don't be twatting. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> I promise you I don't do that. <laughs> we're done. We're out. Oh, my goodness. All right, everybody. I'm Charlie. Right. And I'm Amber. Peace out. Peace out. Shaking your butt. Just, just shaking your front. <laughs> just, just get in the